Um, you know, my experience is that the people who do a good job open, um, uh, the patients overall do pretty well. Um, uh, but there's a little bit of a quicker return to activities. There's certainly on a on an operative uh, during the operation. There's certainly less blood loss. Um, uh, the introduction of robotics has has changed our thinking about surgery uh, quite a bit, such that we're able to um, get patients out of the hospital more, and that's affected the open patients as well. Um, but in general, I think that the robotic the patients who have robotic surgery um, do as well or, or better than, than the o best open case scenario. My generation that's coming through training is, is getting very, very few or very, very little exposure to the open technique. I, the, the place I, I went for residency at the University of Utah, part of why I went there is because they were still doing a lot of open, open surgeries. But even over my residency, I watched how that declined. And so I did six or seven times the many, as many open surgeries as I, or sorry, six or seven times as many robotic surgeries as I did open. And so now as I go out and practice on my own and I have that option of doing robotic or open, I'm much more comfortable doing robotics. Um, and so I think that's the trend we'll see is that our, the next generation that comes through is more comfortable doing robotics as, as a surgeon and so they're much more likely to do that.